Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Is that red card? Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is my daughter, Nola. Today we're at the flea market. It is the perfect place to play one of our very favorite games, I Spy. Are you excited? <laughs> it's a great brain-boosting activity that you can play just about anywhere with kids of all ages. Come on, we'll show you how. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, here's how you play I Spy. First, you choose one of the players to be the spy. And then the spy chooses an object silently, like say this blue globe, and then reveals the object to the other players by saying, I spy with my little eye something blue. Then the other players try to guess what the secret object is. If they're having trouble figuring it out, then the spy can give an additional hint. We'll show you how it's done. Mom, you be the spy first. Oh, all right, let's see. Hmm, let me find an object. Okay, let's start over here first. Hmm, all right, let me pick an object. Let's see. Oh, here's an important tip. Do not look directly at the object when you're giving your hints. That is a dead giveaway. All right, I have my object. Cover your ears. I chose the red dye. All right, Nola, you ready? Okay, I spy with my little eye something red. Um... Is it that W? It is not that W. Um, is it that red stripe around the pin? Ooh, good one. I hadn't even noticed that. No, nope, that's not what I was looking at. Is it the red dye? Ah, uh, yes, you did it. It is that red dye. And you said the right word because dice is two. Two, and a die is actually just one. So you got it, good job. This game is so good for kids' brains. It's not only a great way to expand their vocabularies, but it also develops their powers of observation. So, Noel, you want to play again? Yeah. Okay. I spy with my little eye something blue. Is it that blue block? It is not that cube, no. Keep going. Um... Is it this toy car? Uh, no, that's not what I was looking at, although you're right, that's very blue. Try something else. Um... Is it that lock? No, that's not what I was looking at. I'll give you a hint. It is something that you wear. Hmm. Oh, is it that pin? Yes, that's also called a brooch, and people wear it on their shirt. Nicely done. Thank you. Yeah. Now we'll do one for you. Oh, good, okay. I spy with my little eye something golden. Something golden. Uh, is it that trophy over there? Nope. How about that necklace? Nope. Uh, is it that brush up there? Nope. Uh, the bronze shoes? Nope. All right, I give up. What is it? It's that brooch. Ah, you learned that word before. Good job. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all different skill levels. When Nola was little, I just asked her to point to an object of a certain color. All that matters is that you're making kids think about their surroundings and exposing them to new words. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type any comments into the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos. Bye. <laughs> Stop touching me. All right, three. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did it, I'm awesome, I did it. Oh, hello, I look like a school teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Simon says, pat your heads. Simon says, rub your bellies. Simon says, give your daddy a hug. Yeah! Hey, I'm Jesse. Did you know that playing the game Simon Says with your kids is actually really good for their brains? And it's also a fun way for them to practice self-regulation, the ability to control your behavior. This game also requires players to listen, focus, and follow directions. And if your kids are like mine, well, they can definitely use some more practice in that area. In this video, I'll show you how to play. <laughs> to play, start by choosing someone to be Simon, the leader. Simon will give commands to the other players. 
When the commands begin with Simon says, the other players must follow those instructions. If the command does not begin with Simon says, any player who follows it is out. All right, guys, we're ready to play? Yeah. Are you sure? All right, yeah. so Simon says, touch your head. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, close your eyes. Reach down and touch your toes. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, move like a robot. Simon says, play the air guitar. Now freeze. Ah, yeah. I got gotcha. I got you. I got you. All right. When kids learn to listen carefully to each command and decide whether to follow, they're demonstrating self-regulation, which will help them do well in school. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, stand on one foot. Simon says, make a funny face. Simon says, twirl like a ballerina. All right, now bow. Simon says, touch your ears. Touch your nose. Simon says, quietly run in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, run again. All right, let's take a little break. Ah, I got you again! <laughs> all right. You can adapt this game to play with kids of all ages. My little one, for example, may be too young to fully understand the rules of Simon Says. So when I play with him, my focus is introducing him to new words. Simon Says, touch your ears. Yeah, good job. Simon Says, touch your nose. Yeah, good job. Simon says, smile. Simon says, wiggle your fingers. Simon says, flap your arms like a chicken. Simon says, dance in place. Yeah. As you can see, my kids love to play Simon Says, and I love that they get to practice their self-regulation skills. Now we want to know how you and your kids play Simon Says. Share pictures and videos by hashtagging them Mother Goose Club. Add your stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Simon Says, say goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I'm Jesse. Just in case you don't know, I'm Jesse. <laughs> Definitely use some. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Simon says, "Get it together." <laughs> so, the ability to, <laughs> the ability to control your behavior. <laughs> you guys are so good. Oh, in the face. I, I can't win. I can't win with these guys. <laughs> The ability to control your beat. <laughs> Simon says, Simon says, rub your belly. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> yeah. Are you really good for your kids' brains? No. Really good for your kids' brains? That sounds funny. Actually, really good with, really good with their brains. So you have your kids and their brains. Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Dude, you're good. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get him on that one. When kid, wait, wait. <laughs> when, gosh. When kids learn, ow now, brown cow, to understand the rules of practice, there's, ah, and share, ah, and add. Too young to understand. Ah. If the command, ah. Simon says, Let's take a yeah, bite. It's a fun, fun it's a fun way. Fun, fun, funions. <laughs> Today we're playing a simple number path game called Jumping the Lily Pad. This is a great way to introduce early math skills or adding and subtracting to your kids. We're gonna show you three different versions of how to play it. Hey guys, come on outside. Whoa. I have a fun game for you guys to play. Come on over and I'll tell you how we're going to do it. All right, we are doing a game called Jumping the Lily Pads. Do those look like lily pads? Yeah. Okay, so first, I need your help. 
I need to put numbers on the lily pads. Everybody can start on your numbers, okay? I'm doing a red seven. Do it really big so we all can see them really good. Okay, here, come here. You want to trace the number three? There you go. Boom. 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 Great. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here's how we play jumping the lily pad. You're going to take this dice. You're going to roll it. Number one, two, three, and four. And then I wait my next turn, okay? All right, Silas, you go first. Roll the dice. Five. One. 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 It's your turn. Can you move to the side so Benjamin can jump? Yeah, they're big enough, I think, you can go by each other. It's that song. Good that job. All right, wait. This game is a great way to build number sequence learning. For Silas, it was so much fun for him to get to leap down the lily pads and then also to learn the numbers backwards as he leapt back towards the beginning. Five, one, two, two, three, three, four, that's four, four five. <gasps> you made it to ten. Good job. Boom. Move, five. Benjamin. One, two, three. Now turn around and go. Four, five. All right, good job. Rachel's turn. I'm a froggy. I'm a froggy. Two. One, two. Good. Benjamin, your turn. I got a five. Six. Six. Benjamin might make it home. I win. Yay! He leaves all the way home. Five. You want to do it again? Yeah. Okay. Jumping the lily pad was a really fun game for my kids. We really loved being outside. I try to get my kids out as much as possible so that they cannot be in front of electronics all day long. Jumping the lily pad is not only a great early math learning game, but it's also a great way to adapt to whatever's going on around you. If it's raining outside or it's just not good weather, play the game inside. If it looks beautiful outside, take the game outdoors and have some fun. Okay guys, come on in. Whoa! I need you guys to be best frogs you can be. Are you ready, froggies? Ready, ready, ready. ready. Felt, construction paper or cardstock, scissors, marker, dice, stickers. For our indoor version of jumping the lily pad, we made our lily pads out of felt. You can use cardstock or construction paper. One, two, three, four. And the brothers. Five. And then we taped them down to the floor so they didn't move around when they jumped from lily pad to lily pad. So when I leave, I'm gonna go ribbit. All right. Yes, that's a great jump. Good. I asked my kids to add stickers so that the number corresponded with how many stickers there were. This is a great way to teach subitizing to kids, which is simply a big word for when they look at the number in a set, they know instantly what it is. After we did that, we rolled one dice and we simply moved our way down the lily pads. Leap to the lily pads. Try to land on one foot if you can. Show me your best leaping, okay? And you're gonna go first, I'll help you. Six, so leap One, to six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Good. I'll make one. I'll make one on ten. Three, Ooh, one, two, three. Okay, go get the die, it's your turn. <laughs> it also is a game that allows children to kind of think on their own. How do they want to play the game? Maybe ask them what rules they can come up with. That way they can use those brains and their bodies at the same time. And I, you have to stand on the foot. Oh yeah, uh, some balancing. Three, you get to share with One, sis. Two, three, can you froggies share without knocking each other off? This is a great way to let your kids' bodies move. <gasps> six! Ribbit. 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 We made it extra fun and asked the kids to hop and eat the little flies as they went along. Go, little froggy. Ribbit. Ribbit two. Ribbit three. Ribbit four. It was fun to hear them laughing and enjoying the game. <laughs> no, watch out. You know how the floor is lava sometimes when you pretend it's lava? We're pretending it's water, so you can't fall into the water. You gotta stay on your lily pads. We're gonna make our tabletop version of jumping the lily pad. You're gonna need cardstock, construction paper, or fun foam, whatever you wanna use. You're gonna simply cut out a lily pad. Then you're going to take a marker, you're gonna put a number on it, glue it down to your construction paper or cardstock, and make a number line all the way down until you get to the number 10. Don't forget to make your little froggy friends as the tokens. 
Rachel, Benjamin, and I decided to make it a little more difficult than simply going down the number path. We added as they went down and then subtracted as they came all the way back. Whoever got to the end first won the game. Then we decided to make the rules a little harder than simply following the number path. We decided to take the two dice, add them together as they made their way down to number 10, and then subtract the two numbers as they made their way back down the number path. Jumping the lily pad is a great way to get your kids moving while having lots of fun and still learning some early math skills. Mother Goose Club Playhouse!